super hot. Wait, why does that name sound so familiar? Because I'm super hot, boy. Oh! <laughs> This is a game that symbolizes American Manifest Destiny as you purge these holy white lands from a bunch of no-good red people. This guy's just taking a piss. I decide to mind my own business, but out of nowhere, one of his fucking goons jumps me for no reason. What the shit, dude? This just goes to show that you really can't trust these savages. They deserve nothing more than death. Guns are cool and all, but I've seen plenty of Chinese cartoons to know that the katana is the end-all be-all of weaponry. I mean, just take a look at this. I'm cutting through these fools harder than another king cuts himself after being told he is and actually a wolf. One of the key mechanics to this game is time manipulation, and unlike a bunch of other games with the same thing, it's actually not complete shit. Time only moves when you yourself move. For example, when I stand still, as does this truck, but as soon as I start moving around... This guy has a lawsuit on his hands. About a third of the way into the game, there's a tutorial section, and I mean, what the hell is all of this about? This is all vital information that would have been incredibly helpful up to this point in the game. I mean, I needed all of this knowledge earlier, what the fuck? You got yourself three different types of guns, a shitty little pistol, a machine gun, and a shotgun, but it's so much more fun to instead throw the gun itself at the enemy, and then proceed to beat the shit out of them with your bare hands like a fucking maniac. Take it slow, huh? Well, here's a super hot tip for you, game. How about you don't tell me what the hell to do if you, if you know what I mean? <clears throat> Fuck. Oh yeah, by the way, did I mention that this is actually a spooky game? We got some Jaggeroni over here telling us to never play his game ever again or something like that, and, you know, the text is red, so, you know, that means it's really scary, apparently. Promise you won't launch superhaunt.exe again. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure, my man, whatever. If, if you really feel that strongly about it, I guess I'll be done for the... Save the exact word. Man, I literally just said... Fine, I, I won't launch superhaunt.exe again. There, are you happy? Good. Well, I guess that's the end of this video. Uh, it, it, it was fun. Uh, I think. Thank you all for watching. I guess I'll I'll come back later with more. Psych. <laughs> Tough day. Yeah, no kidding. I'll just be taking my stuff and heading on my way. I'll see you all later, fellas. Have a good evening, everybody. I'm you fucks! Alright, fine. You know what? This day's about to get a whole lot tougher. For these guys- hang on, check this out right here. Ready? Three, two, one, he- Oh, fuck. This is actually a really hard level, I'm not gonna lie. BOOM! There we go, finally! That level took me three days to complete, actually. We can finally move on and see what's next. I- Oh. Huh. Uh, well, I, I guess we'll start by... F fuck cut the recording! S stop! Stop! Hey! That's me! That's- that's me! I'm sitting at the computer! How's it going, you handsome- Wait, what? Uh, you will learn... the hard way. Wait, wait, what? What are you trying to say, game? See if it hurts. Do you want me to hit myself? What, you think I won't? You think I- you think I give a single fuck about this clown? Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, jeez, that's... Uh-oh. Well, I suppose this is it. I'm now doomed to walk down a hallway that stretches on for infinity. I feel like fucking Goku running down Snake Way. I mean, this is just... This is just putting me to sleep right now, I'm not gonna lie. And I guess this is the rest of the game, so... I might as well just call the video here. So, um... I guess that's... that's super hot. Th thank you all for watching. I was hoping for something a little bit more climactic, but I guess this is as good as it gets. But wait, there's more! After the hallway, you gotta hack into this super secret Illuminati pyramid thing with your mind, and your brain's all like, ooh, and the pyramid's all like, fuck you, kid. So then it throws you out, and you gotta kill like a million billion red dudes, like, like, poo, 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 poo! And then you get to use your mind hack again, but it still fails because nothing can Bring down the almighty power of the Illuminati, so you gotta shoot more red guys and then hack it again until it's like, fuck you kid, you beat the game. And then it, you get to play as the Illuminati and go like, pew pew pew, yeah, yeah, you get to kill like all the red guys in the whole world, and this game is fucking awesome, dude. This game is the fucking best, I swear. Well, I suppose there's just one thing left to do now. To truly become the Illuminati, I must free myself from the bounds of my corporal form. But to actually kill myself, all in the name of some machine, I just... 
I don't know if I can go through with it. I mean, am I really willing to throw away my life, to throw away everything I've ever known, just so I can become more powerful? And what then? Blindly follow the orders of an unknown force like some sort of puppet? Is this what my entire life has led up to? Is this really what I'm destined to become? Do I really have the power to pull the trigger and do this to myself? I just... Oh, is it hot in here? Is it just me? It's... Oh, jeez! Ah! Eh, whatever.